My name is Pastor Ken Nyaga from Christ Intervention Ministry. One, the Bible says, now it came to pass um, on the third day, on the that day that Esther put on her royal appeal and stood in the inner court of the king's house or over against the king's house and the king sat on his royal throne in the royal house and over against the gate of a house. Verse 2 says, and it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained a favor in his sight. And the kings held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Verse 3 says, Then said the king unto Esther, What will thou, Esther, uh, Queen Esther, and what is thy request? It shall be even, it shall be even given thee to the half of thy kingdom. Verse 4, and Esther answered, it is a seem good unto thy eyes. Uh, let the king and Haman come this day unto the ban banquet that I have prepared for him. Verse 5, then the king said, cause Haman to make haste that he may do as Esther has said. So the king and Haman came to the book banquet that Esther had prepared. And when Jesus reached the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down, and he received and welcomed him joyfully. And when the people saw it, they were all muttered among themselves and complained. He said he has gone in, in to be the guest of the and launch with a man who is devoted to sin and preeminently a sinner. When, so then Zacchaeus stood up and solemnly declared to the Lord, See, Lord, the half of my goods I give uh, to the poor, and I have cheated, if I have cheated anyone out of anything, uh, I restore four times as much. Nine, and Jesus said to him, Today is salvation, today is salvation has come to your household. Since Zacchaeus too is a son of Abraham. 10. For the son of man came to seek and save that which was lost. And that's the word of the Lord. And I believe my listener and our viewer, wherever you are, you are getting what God is about to do in your life. Because you are asking, what was this that day? I want to say that this story is coming from some history or some background where uh, Moldecai and Esther had deliberately planned to approach the king so that they can get favor. So that at least that time when the Jews were about to be eliminated, at least they will be safe. Mm. And whatever they were doing, they were doing something that was intentional and planned. Mm. I want to tell you this. Victory is usually planned. Don't just wake up into things and think because you've, you've just shown up, that mm. is all what was expected to happen and then the victory will come. Mm. The Bible says that on the third day, when she had put her loyal ropes, mm. she went and stood in the inner chamber and she is standing in front of somebody who was still very familiar with her. Mm -hmm. But you know, for her to break that spirit of familiarity and this time so that she can contact that favor, and divine engagement had to take place. Yes. And that was prayer. And also I can say faith was also involved. Mm -hmm. Because these guys are doing something that even not God has spoken to them and told them, can you now do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? Mm -hmm. They knew uh, that their God is able to do things when they engage in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. A prayer is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual dimension. There are things, my brother, my sister, what you are doing is very right. Yes, you are involving money. Yes, you are involving a godfather. Yes, you are involving your papers. Yes, you are involving whatever system that you feel like it will deliver. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, there are things that are built far much and above what you are trying to involve. Yes. It is a time that you know that there is a divine dimension that is spiritual mm -hmm. that requires to be engaged so that you are able now to affect the realm that resists certain things. Yes. Some things, it is not the money that resists them. Mm -hmm. 
I want to tell you, you must know where to enter and where to touch so that you can now pro provoke the power of God that comes to interfere with things that sometimes cause you not to have a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Still building on the story of Esther, we, we are just seeing a, a warfare here that was not just, just physical. Mm -hmm. Because you see, the oppression was physical. But what was needed to lift the oppression a spiritual dimension had to be effected. In Proverbs 21 verses that one, the word of the Lord says that the horse is made ready for the day of the battle, but the victory rests with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You that call yourself mighty, intelligent, wise, powerful, strong, mm -hmm. let me tell you, you can still get frustrated with all that. Mm -hmm. There are things, my brother, my sister, even with all your energy, with all your fame, with all your prominence, it is until you understand how to enter the spiritual dimension mm -hmm. that you begin to see things working. Yes. You can keep on bribing and nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. You can keep on trying to go behind the, you know, the, the backs of the people and still nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge somebody today, including some people who feel like, you know, we don't need Jesus. Uh, I have done good all the time. You know, I feed the, the poor. I even have a, an orphanage. Mm. You know, I, I do such and such a thing. Some people are very wealthy. They, they think that all what God brought us to do here was about seek, looking for money. I want to tell you this. Mm. That is not all what you needed. You need yes. God. Yes. Even some troubles that you are trying to solve in your own energy. Mm. Even if you are given an allowance of another 1,000 years. Mm. If that thing, what it requires is a spiritual attention, you will not achieve. Yes. Because people are tired doing things. Mm -hmm. And that is why sometimes you see the people who don't have this revelation, when, when they feel that a demand has been placed in them, mm -hmm. for them to achieve a certain thing that is beyond them, mm -hmm. because of the emptiness of Christ in them, they don't have Christ. Mm -hmm. The only thing they think about is consulting a witch doctor. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you have allowed the enemy to be your ins inspiration. And that is the danger that we have. When people who don't believe in God, you know, encounter a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. Even now, I know there are people who are facing uh, a, a lot of difficult situations. You, you feel like all the hell has been, you know, opened up towards you. Mm -hmm. Like it was the threatening that was done that time where the Jews was supposed to be killed. Mm -hmm. But look at the response of Esther and Mordecai. Prayer and fasting. Mm. They were doing that because they believed in God of heaven. Yes. Elohim is alive. What are you doing about that situation? Mm. They would have chosen to cry and lament, but that would not have solved it. Yes. There were enough witches in that land those days because this, this government did not be, you know, to fear God. It is only the Jews who knew that there is God, the creator, mm. the God of the universe. But they decided, let us go to the one that we know. The almighty God mm. is going to, to affect things that we cannot affect in our own power. I want to tell you this. You need to set yourself for victory by understanding that it is God who gives victory, not you. Not what you think is going to bring victory. Jesus challenged people and told them that if then though you are all evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Ask him now in the name of Jesus Christ. God knows that good thing that you need. He knows the relief that you need to get, including the sickness that has been declared a killer disease on your body. I want to tell you, God can still turn around that disease and give you a miracle, a long-lasting miracle. You become a sign and a wonder of God in your generation. What are you doing about that situation? I came to bring your heart back to prayer, fasting, be deliberate right now in the way you want to approach that situation. And I want to tell you, our faithful God will not let you down. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to touch on the story of Zacchaeus and then I'm going to talk about Esther in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, you see the heart that Zacchaeus had. Repent.
repentance. And I see that Zacchaeus did not just find himself on that sycamore tree. Mm -hmm. This man left the house because he wanted an encounter with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, his height was a disadvantage because the crowd was taller than him and huge. I suspect like Zacchaeus was a kind of a small dwarf. But you see, his mission was to see Jesus because Zacchaeus wanted a change in his life. We see that from the way he welcomed Jesus, he had no resistance even when Jesus said, I want to come to be your guest today in your house. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was the desire of Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. He left the house knowing that I have gone for an encounter. Mm -hmm. Intentional people will always encounter visitation from Jehovah God. Amen. You need to know why you want to approach God. The Bible says that He gives what we ask. You know, ask and it shall be given to you. Mm -hmm. What are you asking? Zacchaeus cried a tree as a sinner as he was, and he knew he was not a good man. And when Jesus was coming, Zacchaeus was just on top of the tree. Jesus stopped there and he spotted a, a, a short man up the tree. Mm -hmm. And he stopped and he said, Zacchaeus, come down. I will be your visitor today. Mm -hmm. I thank God for his mercies. Mm -hmm. He is a visitor to anyone who wants to welcome him. He needs all her life. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter whether you are a witch doctor doesn't matter whether you are the, 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 this kind of Zacchaeus type mm. you know what did Zacchaeus do when Jesus went in his house Zacchaeus very generously repentant it is repentance that disarms every revenge that can can happen against your sin yes. repentance is a, a, a function of humility mm. Actually, I see there are some people who were poor at that time because of how Zacchaeus had robbed from them. And, but that day, I think they rejoiced so much. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to imagine if Zacchaeus had stolen from me two million and he returns seven times. You see? I, I would have been a rich person that evening. Mm -hmm. Do we have people who can really return what they have stolen? Or you just repent and say... At least uh, I've repented, but I'll continue with my mansions. I'll continue with my, my region of a sport and uh, the other, other, other assets that you have. Through repentance, my brother, my sister, whoever you are watching, it is accompanied by also stopping doing that. And probably if there are areas you have destroyed, it is good to go back. Yes. <laughs> Revisit. Revisit some places. Because okay. right now there are people who are crying because of what you did. Mm. But after repentance, you need to make their hearts feel soft. Mm -hmm. Zacchaeus welcomed Jesus. He was prepared to see that happening. It did not, not just catch him by surprise. Esther, when he needed that move of God, they were in prayer. They were in prayer for three days. So three days, that, that day was not a mistake. It was a calculated day when that thing had to happen. I know there are people watching me who have been in, in prayer. Some of you have been fasting even now. It is not in vain. It is good sometimes also to say, I'm going to pray and fast for seven days. And on the seventh day, this is what I'll do. Even now concerning our country, Kenya, before 9th of August, we have time and we can call upon the name of the Lord. We can change the transactions that the devil might decide to do in the heavenly places mm -hmm. and put the transactions of God in action. Yes. Prayer moves mountains. Daniel, in his time, it is prayer that turned around that nation when he was in Babylon as a captive. Mm -hmm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all these were God-fearing men. Mm -hmm. They operated faith and they knew our God is able to perform it. I came to remind you, God has not forgotten. God is still supplying his power, his deliverance to everyone who is seeking him sincerely from the heart. Yes. And I know you are also deciding to give your life to Jesus. Can you make your heart now soft? 
so that as God performs some miracles that are going to take place today because something is going to happen you will also give your life to Jesus Christ in case you've not done that and you know what there are people also who prayed very intentional coronarias and also gave to God until when the angel was sent he commented two things that God had told him your prayers and your offerings your giving you know what all these things they all become an advantage for your answers when you do them in faith. And even now, because there are numbers that are running uh, below the screen, those numbers, you can use them in case you have a prayer item and you want to, to speak to somebody to talk to you, probably cancel you on something. And also, the m numbers that are running there, you can also send an offer. Maybe your prayers and givings today is what is going to speak in the presence of God. It is your work now to begin to conceive faith in your spirit. Because God cannot send his word in vain. Mm -hmm. I just want to come into agreement with your faith right now. I just want us to come into agreement concerning anything right now that you are putting in the presence of God. That is making you to feel like, you know, you are frustrated, you are depressed, you are abandoned. You feel like this world has come to an end for you. But I want to speak life. Today, a scepter will be shown to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because our God is faithful. Mm. Could be that marriage, it's at stake. Probably right now, you're even thinking of how you can draft a divorce. I don't know what it is. Things are many that are trapped in somebody's life. Just believe with me right now as we make this prayer. Almighty God, in Jesus' name. I Thank you for this viewer who has been following us from the beginning. Yes, Lord. I also thank you for the one who will listen and follow this program after this. Yes. Jehovah God, we are making this prayer from faith in you. Yes. That God, as they follow it now from the screen, from the social media, yes. wherever this broadcast is going. Yes. Those in Africa and out of Africa, you have no geographical limitation, God, on what you can do. Reach out to this man, my father. Reach out to this woman, my father. Yes. Reach out to this family in Jesus. Yes. Reach out to these children, oh God. Yes, in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Jesus. Whatever that they have lifted now, Lord, to you. Yes. Believing and trusting you for an encounter, for a turn around, for a miracle. Yes. My father, they will not be disappointed from now. Yes, I call it settled. Yes. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, yes. we declare any matter that has been lifted right now mm. by these people viewing mm. this program my god their answers have been now granted yes, in, in the, the name, name of, of jesus. jesus christ Thank let you. the deliverance and healing come upon your body yes. in the name of jesus christ let that door open up no more joblessness in the name of jesus yes. i declare that your mouth shall be filled with joy yes. laughter and testimonies of, of what god has done in the name of jesus christ mm. from now moving forward mm. let your story change Yes. May God be glorified in your life as he settles this matter. Mm -hmm. We declare it is done. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.